What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite DaVinci Resolve 18 tips, tricks, and shortcuts. DaVinci Resolve 18 has been out for a little bit, but as of the time of me recording this video, it is still in public beta. Keep this in mind, I would not update unless you have all your projects backed up, or it's something you can afford to lose if that happens. With all that aside, let's load up DaVinci Resolve 18 and get going. So one of my favorite things I've been using recently is pre and post roll. So let's say we've got this cut, we wanna double check it. Normally I would bring the cursor over as most of us probably would, hit play, it would go over the cut, I'd say that looks pretty good. Let me go back, watch it again because I'm ADHD and I zone out. Oh, I messed up again. Let me do it one more time. It just, it's a few extra steps just to bring the cursor back, then hit play. It's a pain in the butt. So this trick will help you out. I'm gonna hover to the cut that I want and on a Mac, I'm just gonna hit backslash. Boom, it's gonna pre-roll it and roll it to the end and bring it right back to the cut that we were at. Another thing that's really helpful with the pre and post roll is let's say we have a whole bunch of cuts and we don't want to have to move the cursor to each one to double check. Let's say we got 10 or 15 cuts right here and we want to be able to check all those very quickly. So a fast way to do that is we're gonna set an in and an out point by pushing I and O where we want it to be. I'm gonna go anywhere where I want because it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna hit option backslash on a Mac and it's gonna bring it to the beginning of our endpoint. It's gonna play it all the way through to our out point. And that's gonna bring it right back to the beginning and just continue to loop that over and over and over again. If the pre and post roll is not enough time for you to actually check it, let's say you want a couple more seconds at the beginning, maybe a couple more frames, you can adjust that very easily. Go up to DaVinci Resolve. We are gonna to go to Preferences. We're gonna go over here to User. We are gonna to go to the Editing tab. And you can scroll down here and you've got your pre and post roll. You can either do frames. So if I have a 24 frame timeline, 60 frame timeline, whatever you want it to be, or you can do seconds. Let's say we want it to be three seconds this time and three seconds at the end, save it. Now, if I bring it back here, I hit backslash, it's going to actually give us more time at the beginning and the end. Tips and tricks number two for DaVinci Resolve 18 that are my favorite, that's a long title. We are gonna set poster frames for our clips. You may be thinking, what the heck is a poster frame? So over here under the media pool and the editing tab, you've got your clips. If you haven't laid out the way I do, some people like doing it in a list. I prefer having thumbnails. You can scrub through and you can actually watch the entire video, right? So sometimes it'll pick a very random thumbnail, which is called poster frames in DaVinci Resolve, but I'm just gonna continue to call them thumbnails because that's what they look like to me. It, sometimes it'll pick a really weird spot. So I may not know what that is from a glance. I've only got like maybe five clips in this timeline, so it's not a big deal, but let's say I've got a bunch of them and I wanna be able to find a frame that I like to know immediately that's the close-up of the astronaut where it's going down his breathing tube and cables. So we're gonna find the frame that we like, we're gonna right click on it, we're gonna scroll down here to set poster frame. Boom, done. A quick way to do it is let's just go right here. I'm gonna hit command P. Boom, it's locked that in, and now you know at a glance what that video clip actually is without having to scroll through. May not seem like a big deal, but I'm telling you, it's gonna save a lot of time. Now, before we go any further, let's talk about the sponsor of this video real quick, and that is ArtGrid. I have been such a fan of ArtGrid for a while now. Their video clips are so good. Every one of these video clips in this is from ArtGrid, and this is just a couple clips. I went on their website, typed out space because I knew I wanted a bunch of Spaceman shots for this tutorial. Boom, had a plethora of them. This is not some boring stock footage that you guys are gonna find on every website. This is actual footage shot by filmmakers for filmmakers. ArtGrid has partnered up with me and gave you guys an amazing deal to where you get two extra free months when you sign up for a subscription plan using my code in the link below. Thank you so much ArtGrid for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. Now this next tip I actually use quite frequently when I'm shooting freelance. It's called Dual Pane Media Pool. So right now, if I go to the media pool under the master, you can see I have close-ups and wides as in two folders are also right here. I can just click through them. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't take that long. However, we're looking to be the most efficient we can possibly be. So I'm gonna go right up here to the three dots on here and I am gonna hit dual pane media pool. I'm gonna click that and boom, it's gonna bring up both of these. Now, if I wanna have my close-ups in this one and I wanna have my wides in this one, I can just start grabbing shots 
and not have to skim through any of these different folders. This kind of stuff saves a lot of time, especially if you just have a few shots where both cameras matter at the exact same time. This will help you out a lot. And if you wanna get rid of it, it's very easy. You click the three dots again, boom, click it off, you're good to go. So this next one I use all the time and that is trimming a clip. Let's say this shot of the earth right here, if I play that through, I like it, but let's say I want it to start a little bit darker and I don't wanna to have to drag this clip up. I don't wanna to have to drag it out then bring it over and then trim it up and move it down it's, it's just it's a pain in the butt no one wants to do that so a very fast way to adjust clips like this is trimming them so I'm gonna hover over a clip I'm gonna hit T and it's gonna bring up this little tool right here if we're on the top half of it we can just click and drag and you can see in the white right here that's the entire clip I have to work with so if I bring it all the way to the beginning that's the very beginning of the clip if I bring it all the way to the end, that's the end of the clip. And it's gonna show me a start and stop at the top, plus the clip at the beginning and the clip afterwards. And my last tip to help you guys be faster at DaVinci Resolve is swapping clips in and out from each other. So let's say I don't like this shot of the astronaut right here, I like the ship but I want to go to the earth before I go to him. So most of you guys are probably grabbing this clip, moving it up, dragging it over, bringing this here, then bringing that back over, dropping it back down, playing that through, seeing if that looks good. If it doesn't look good, then you gotta move it back up, move it over, maybe swap one of these clips instead with that one. And then you just kinda got a whole lot of time that you're wasting when you could do it a lot faster. So a quick way to do that is swapping clips out. So I'm gonna click on the clip that I want to change out. Let's say it's this one that I had. So on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Command, Shift, Comma, and I'm gonna to go to the left, and I'm gonna bring it where I want it. If I wanna go back the other direction, I'm gonna hit Command, Shift, Period, and I'm gonna take it over the other way. It's just a quick way that you can flip clips around. You can actually highlight multiples and hit Command, Shift, Over, and it's gonna move all those over. That's a game changer in itself. Again, I'm only scratching the surface with some of these tips and tricks to help you guys be faster in DaVinci Resolve. A lot of it comes down to just editing over and over and over again. Either way, it's all part of learning and becoming a better editor. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See you next time. Peace.